Hey folks, Rob here, welcoming you back to the Video Gadgets Journal. And in a recent video, I showed you what you might consider the birth of direct iOS screen streaming to services such as YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. And that came in the form of an application called Video. Now I say birth because there are one or two problems with it, audio being one of them, whereby if you try and do any voice narration, it's completely drowned out by the game sound and you can't adjust the volume. However, there is a workaround solution that we can try and it comes in the form of one of these. So let's take a look. First, let's reacquaint ourselves with this situation. Basically, video streams audio at 100% of volume. You have to download a separate microphone app in order to get voice narration, but it's completely drowned out by the system sounds, as demonstrated in this example. Clash of Clans, just to give you a, a bit of audio. And you will notice here... Microphone... So basically, you couldn't hear anything there. And that's because the internal microphone on iOS devices simply isn't up to the job, and it's too far away from your voice. So, we're going to take advantage of the 3.5mm jack and use a proper microphone to get the audio. I'm not suggesting for one second that you go out and buy a professional piece of kit for hundreds of dollars, but somewhere in your house you should have a lapel microphone which you can clip onto your shirt and talk directly into, and it looks like one of these. If you did want to purchase one of these, you can get them from Amazon for as little as $5, but just be aware not all of them work. I tried several, ones that required batteries didn't tend to work, so I had to use this special microphone that's designed for smartphones, but you can get microphones that should work, it's a bit trial and error, and this is why I don't suggest you spend hundreds of dollars on one. Once you've found a suitable microphone, launch the application designed for video voice narration and then listen to the difference between the iOS microphone and a dedicated microphone clipped to my shirt. Testing, testing, testing. This is Rob at the Video Gadgets Journal. Testing, testing, testing. This is Rob at the Video Gadgets Journal. So just to repeat that, these are the sound waves from the iOS mic when I'm talking. And then when I plug in the lapel microphone, these are the sound waves and the volume. Things look promising in theory. Let's put this to a practical test. So at the moment, there is no microphone plugged into the iOS device and you probably can't hear any of this. The only way you're going to be able to hear me is if I pick up the iOS device and put it right next to my mouth so that you can hear the audio recording from the iOS device. I'll just open up a free clip from the game that I play. I feed the sound from the camera recording. Okay, what I'm going to do now is plug in the microphone into the iOS device and then you should be able to hear me. So now with a microphone in, you should be able to hear my voice loud and clear. And when I do mean loud, I mean very loud, because we're basically fighting against the loud game sounds, and we put the microphone as high as possible as well. So what this means for the audience is that they can hear everything very loud, they're just going to have to put the volume down quite a lot. But it's the best solution for the time being. In that final demonstration, things still weren't perfect. The sound was definitely peaking on my audio voice, and I could tweak it to make it sound a little better, but that final filming sequence was incredibly difficult, and I can't be bothered trying it again. I'm just a lazy video maker. Now, I have been in talks with video to try and improve this situation, and they are working on it, so that's another reason not to invest too heavily in a microphone, but for the time being, it's a workaround that you could try. If you have any more questions, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal for more content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.